you take a piece of material 16 inches wide and 9 inches long and then you fold it. Once you've placed it on the fold, you mark exactly 3 inches from the top to the middle and 3 inches from the bottom to the middle. Then double stitch on both sides. Once you've stitched it, you take your piece of material, now that you've stitched it like this, you turn it around this way, then you bring the seam to the middle and you iron it flat. And here you can see your opening. This is where the filter will go. Now that you've turned your material around this way and stitched it, the next step is to put, place the elastic in place. You take an elastic piece around 16 inches and then you cut it into two from the middle for both sides. So that's one piece per side. Then you place it like this on the edge of both sides and secure it in place. The best way is to use a needle and thread and just tack it in place. You don't need to do a lot of stitches, just two stitches to hold it in place. Once you've done that on both sides, it should look like this with the elastic hanging in. Then place it flat. Make sure that the elastic is on the inside and then you stitch on both sides, along this side and along this side, and to secure it in place. On the elastic part, double stitch it to hold it tight. Once you've done that, then you've stitched the sides, and then you can also do another stitch here to secure this seam where the opening is, if you'd like. So it should look like this. After that, you take it from the opening and you turn it inside out. For the corners, you can use a pencil or something to straighten it out. And then once you turn it inside out, you can turn it inside out and then iron it flat. And you have your mask ready like this. Now place your mask on a flat surface, flat clean surface. The opening side should be at the back. Turn it around and now make three markings. From the bottom, mark two inches this way and here. And the above the two inch mark, then keep making one inch marks. You need three extra points at an inch each. So for example, you've marked two inch, now above that mark one inch, then above that mark another inch and above that mark another inch. After that, pinch both points together, like this, for all the markings, and then you'll have your three pleats in place, and then you can pin them in place. Once you've pinned them in place, an easy step is just to iron it all. and then you can stitch along the sides. Once you've stitched along the sides, it should look like this, with your opening at the back. The mask is worn this way down, with the pleats going like this. So the top will expand over the nose and this bit will expand over the chin. For the filter at the back, you can either use a kitchen paper A strong kitchen paper just cut it to size but when you're going to wash it make sure that you take out the kitchen paper or you can use something like this material which is non-iron interfacing it's the material used on quilt covers and cushion covers or any other fabric non-woven you can use as an extra layer in the middle and this can be washed